Uh, no, not really. Um, I re- it was always been something I've wanted to do, but I was never really. Sh- three years ago, I didn't think I was good enough. Okay, so then enters a guy by the name of Byron Barrett with Top Scout Football recruiting, and he figured out pretty quick you were good enough. And Byron, what's it like finding a guy like Big Ben Looper? Uh, it's just like finding a, a gold ring under the dirt, man. It's it's uh, you know when you find a kid like Ben who's under the radar. Typically, what you're going to get is someone who just really doesn't know the game that well, but he's got raw talent, he's got size, he's going to be a big old guy before it's over with. You know, I'm expecting him to be in the limelight in a whole lot of big cities, playing in a whole lot of big stadiums. That's what I believe, and I'm an NFL scout, so, you know, my opinion on Ben is is we get him a little work over at Fort Scott Junior College with the right coaching uh, and the right, uh, you know, system. Uh, Ben's going to get an opportunity to go into a big BCS team and win some bowl games. That's what I think. Ben, back to you for just a second here. Well, I'm, I'm going to talk about something else. I'm going to talk about five years from now, with or without professional football, thanks to what you're doing here, you're going to walk out of college debt-free. So many people don't do that. How does it make you feel to know that you're going to come out and be able to do anything you want because you don't have any debts to worry about? Really, really good. <laughs> what can that mean for you? I mean, what do, what do you think about studying? Um, I think about studying. <laughs> it's important. Not necessarily. I'm not for sure yet what I want to do. Okay. But can yeah. you see, though, how nice it's going to be mm-hmm. coming out, what, what it's going to be like? And also, how does that make you feel when you realize the burden you just took off your parents, too? At relieved. Relieved. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to step in and say uh, relieved because I had the same situation when I was there. You know, I, I, I can see myself and Ben a whole lot uh, years ago. You know, I went through the same type of recruiting deal and, uh, and uh, you know, on a very similar scale. And, and, and uh, I saw in Ben what, what other coaches used to see in me, and that was raw talent and, and size. And, uh, and Ben's a real bright kid. And, and, you know, as far as schooling and all that goes, he got a real good education with the home school system here in Springfield. And, and uh, from mom and dad and everybody else that worked with him and Coach Staley and the other guys. And, and uh, you know, I, I expect big things out of Ben, not only in the classroom, but on the football field as well. Hello? Hello? Who's this speaking? This is Marcus Dupree. Marcus Dupree. He Woo! Talk to Ben Luke before. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. yep. How's it going, Ben? Doing great. Doing great, Coach. So I see you sign with uh, Fort Scott uh, Junior College? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. I'm here, Marcus. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? Oh, we're doing good, man. We got a big bulldog right here. He's ready to roll out, go play some ball at Fort Scott. We're real proud of him, and appreciate you calling in and uh, and, and making this a, a real good event for Ben. Uh, not many people get a call from the one and only Marcus Dupree on their signing day, so we're real proud oh, you called. Don't make, don't make <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That's what I'm talking about, homeboy. All right, brother. We appreciate you calling, and uh, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna keep our own big Ben. All right, big man. Take care, and uh, do a good job over there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bittersweet. So, because it's really exciting that Ben's getting to do what his dream is. It's really hard knowing that he's gonna not be with us anymore. But it's wonderful knowing that he gets to go debt-free, get a good education, and make something really important with his life. Because we have five children, and we've had one graduate from college and one in college. So we're going to have two in college next year. So that, And then we have a 12-year-old coming up. So it's really nice to know that uh, Ben is taking care of his own education. I think that's wonderful. Well, I'm excited beyond words, and I really can't describe what I'm feeling. Uh, but it's it's a neat feeling that uh, know that Ben's going to be able to school and and uh, have his way paid for. And so it's a good experience, and I'm looking forward to watching him play ball and watch my other son coach.
Now, you're a little quiet, and Ben's a little quiet, so I think I know where that came from. <laughs> but when you guys are home, do you ever talk about football and, and what this kind of means to you guys? Uh, not really. Nathaniel lives football, but... Yeah. <laughs> Nathaniel, hand Nathaniel the microphone here. Okay, you know, it's a day where, yeah, a lot of focus is... Where there's a lot of focus on your brother... There's got to be a lot of brotherly pride in there, and, and and what's it been like to help coach him and get him to this point? Oh, it's it's a great feeling, you know. I've I've always wanted um, when I was his age to uh, play college ball, and but it, that never uh, came to fruition. But uh, uh, the feeling that he's going to be able to live the dream and, and play college ball is just great, and I'm really excited for him, and uh, I'm excited to see him play in the future. So. I'm Byron Barrett, National Collegiate Scout and NFL Scout. I'm here to tell you about Top Scout Football Recruiting. This is one of my stud bulls right here, Ben Luber. Ben's fixing to sign a scholarship today. Live the dream, be part of something big. TopScoutFootballRecruiting.com. Excellent. Okay, I can try. I can make that work. Uh, let's see. Let me get it closer to Ben looking at the camera. Close up of him, I've got a white shot.